2,521. channel so today we are here up at the goon squad headquarters and as you guys seen we started this video off totally different because we got some super exciting news to bring to you guys probably the most exciting news that we've ever had so far on the channel and as you guys know we love food so that's why we started it off by cooking some food we got some hamburgers we got some steaks right here we got some taco meat and also you made some salsa right there we got a bunch of goodies and you know what the best way to actually take your food to the next level is what hot sauce dude that is right and you've seen us looking at this refrigerator right here a little bit funny on the inside of it but let's just go ahead and reveal to you guys what we got in here look at that right Ooh, there dude we what is that sir right there why is our faces on there dude that right there is something we have been working on for over a year right there we partnered up with hoff and pepper the best in the business and we actually put together our own line of hot sauce and what you have right here is goon squad chipotle lime dang sauce right Ooh, there dude man that sounds absolutely amazing and you know what's better it tastes even better than it sounds dude, dude. i mean we've been working on it for such a long time and we just perfected the taste look at this right here the perfect temperature it's got the tang it's got the smoke and a bunch of flavor right there this bottle we're gonna go over all the specs dude. on this bottle a little bit later right now we're gonna put this sucker to the test and taste this thing dude dude you can put this on anything honestly we've had this for about a week and we've been eating it with all sorts of food chick-fil-a all this sorts of stuff right here and everything dude, it for is just breakfast addicting. yes so we should put a disclaimer beware. beware addiction is possible dude you got that right right there <laughs> but anyways i say we go ahead and fix up some more of this food pour some of this stuff in like a little container over all of our food on everything eat this stuff up right here before it gets cold and we're gonna show you guys what else we got on this bottle right here Dude. No, sir, because that is the name of our brand new sauce, 
Goon Squad Chipotle Lime Dang Sauce right there, dude. dude. And this right here in this bottle that we're holding is just has been a lot of time and effort. It's been over a year that we've been perfecting this glorious flavor and just bursting with all sorts of stuff, dude. You got that right right there. And huge shout out to Hoff and Pepper because we've been going back and forth with them and they've been like the brain of the operation. We've been just tweaking like the little fine details and just trying to make the perfect flavor, the perfect sauce yeah. for you guys that you can use every day, dude. Yes, sir. So I remember the first time we tried Hoff and Pepper up here while we're working on the house because we love hot sauce. We love flavoring food and stuff like that. You don't want to be boring and just eat a regular burger That's with hard. no sauce on there or whatever you're eating. And uh, we fell in love with Hoff and Pepper and we just came together. We conjoined. We put our brains together and we came out with the perfect sauce with the perfect tang and all that good Dude, stuff. This man. is so awesome. So the first thing that I noticed right off the bat, of course, is our faces on there. <laughs> but my favorite thing about this sauce is probably the name dude. yes sir you got that right dang sauce dang man. sauce and there's so many options we could have went with like goon squash or goon <laughs> squad sauce or goon tang or something i don't know we had a bunch of names that hundreds of them dude there was another name that we were thinking about like um shoe sauce <laughs> <laughs> you don't want that sauce but Huge shout out to Hoff and Pepper. Their whole entire team came together. They did a bunch of brainstorming and they came up with dang sauce. And it just makes sense. Like, how are you gonna ask somebody for sauce at the restaurant? You're not gonna say, Can I get some sauce, sir? No, sir. <laughs> you're gonna say, give me that dang sauce, man. And you're gonna get it right. And that's there, what they're dude. gonna bring you, some dang sauce. I mean, this is just amazing. And we wanted to make a sauce that you use basically an everyday sauce. You know what I exactly. mean? Exactly. It's not too spicy. It's just that perfect amount of spice. You got the perfect temperature. You got plenty of tang. You got plenty of smoke and most of all it's just bursting with flavor so let's just go ahead and go over the Dude, fine details on this bar first right of here. all the carbon fiber label on this thing which is just outstanding you know we love carbon fiber and we had to put our goon squad twist on a bottle you know we had to upgrade the bottle a little bit make it lightweight make it look a little bit better so carbon fiber and on top of that we got gauges on the side you got gauges on the side right there and you got a bunch of other easter eggs we got our whole entire little story on the back but we're going to save that up for you guys to read when you get this bottle in Super your hands, dude. Also, there's another uh, Easter egg right there. Should I go ahead and say that? Go ahead. We got a little Thomas Easter egg on there, but don't show too much Technician because... Technician approved, dude. dude that is it, awesome. It's definitely awesome. And there's tons of little Easter eggs. So once you guys get this bottle, not only the flavor is going to surprise you, but the bottle itself is going to surprise you. So we're just super proud to bring you guys something this crazy. And do you want to read the ingredients? Because exactly. this is locally made in Chattanooga. You got that right right there. So it's organic dude some yeah. good fresh stuff in here let's just go ahead and read off the first ingredient which is chilies of course you got some red jalapeno you got some habanero some chipotle ancho vinegar lime juice salt cane sugar garlic citric acid onion and smoked paprika dude dude all that just a handful of stuff right here to make and a few mixtures and stuff to make the perfect sauce here locally this is not like the sauce is not coming out from overseas or anything no, like sir. that they're mixing it here they're putting it in bottles here and we even helped put some of this stuff together for you guys and i mean we got our first two boxes right here which we we're super excited about and now we are excited to give you guys a try of this yeah we're excited to give you guys some dang sauce that you could use every day breakfast lunch and dinner smothered and covered you can put like a bunch of it on everything and yes. it's just going to be perfect it's not going to be like too crazy. Run into, the run into the water. You know, right, run into the water and stuff like that. This is just perfect. I mean, just trying this flavor. Up, just put it on your tongue when you first get the bottle, and just move it around, man. You like, dude, that's so good, dude. Honestly, I've been trying this on all my food like for the past week, like I said, and honestly, dude, it just like makes makes food. your mouth water. It right does, away, yeah. dude. It makes your food so exciting. So we're super happy to be launching this dang sauce and we're gonna be leaving the link down below. It's gonna be on Hoff and Pepper's website if you wanna purchase you one of these dang sauces, man, and change your whole life, dude. You got that right right there. So be sure to visit the link down below and get you some dang, dang sauce.
Alrighty guys, so it is actually the next day here. Not only are we dropping one epic thing like our amazing hot sauce, we're dropping two with a brand new build, a 2021 Factory 5 GTM supercar, man. Ooh, wait, look, look at that at thing, thing, dude. dude. This thing just looks absolutely incredible. The rear end is just insane. You got exhaust coming out the back right in the middle over there. You got these quad tail lights, which just look like exotic, dude. Exactly, dude. You Honestly, I would never know what this car is until like, I actually did some research on yeah. this thing and that's what makes this car super unique and also it is pretty rare but not only that it looks almost like a million dollar car yeah, right here so dude. this does look like a million dollar car but you know what this is probably the cheapest supercar you can buy dude yeah, this so is just crazy what's the man? price range on something like this so brand the new price range starting like if you get a base kit probably like twenty five thousand dollars but we bought this thing should we just go ahead and say how much we bought Might this as thing? well let's do it different so we bought this thing sitting here for $17,000, which is just a steal because this thing got some incredible stuff already done to it. Can't wait to show you guys. But on top of that, this car apparently beats the Viper ACR, the uh, Ford, Ford GT, GT, and the Saline S7, dude. That is just insane, man. $30,000 price range right here compared to like whatever those cars are like. Probably a uh, 100,000 to, I believe the uh, Saline S7 is like almost like a million dollar car wow. or something like that. That is just incredible. And look at that, Thomas, Thomas already, already inspecting it. that thing. Get in the engine bay, check it out. The engine bay is insane, insane dude. Let's just go ahead and do a walk around on this thing. The rear end looks absolutely amazing. Got this like carbon fiber spoiler right here, which just like forms with the body, which looks super good. And right off the bat, you can just go ahead and read that. That's the Cook's exhaust headers right there. And that there, right there dude. is straight pop. So yeah. I can't wait to start this thing up if it will start. Yeah, so that's, that's coming here really soon, starting it up. Got a carbon fiber diffuser. It is a little bit bent at the bottom over there, probably from the accident, but I'm sure we can get a new one of those. And just the whole rear end just looks in, just insane. I think that's my favorite part so far, but the side also, dude, you come Look to the this. side over here. Real vent right there, real dude. Vent here and real vent right here, which is just super crazy looking a huge massive vent and i love how the car is just super sleek super low to the ground i mean this car is what like three four foot dude? dude i wonder if it's shorter than the viper dude this may be our shortest car yet right here dude that is just crazy how everything flows the interior is insane but don't look at that too much we'll get to that a little bit later the doors everything the mirror and then we go all the way up to the front over here which is where this is actually wrecked at is in the front over there but look at that end. look at that like front end Bonnet dude. right there dude what that's a front end thing, that's dude. a whole entire hood so basically this is a kit car right so it comes in sections and pieces and you use another car to build this car right yeah, so this is an entire fiberglass car over here and then it has a aerospace frame underneath here which is like super lightweight super strong and i believe the suspension is off a of corvette so you got corvette suspension um uh ls engine in there i don't know what ls is in there right now but it does have an ls engine in there it's producing a lot of power and should we tell you what, what kind of transmission this let's thing has let's save that for a little bit later yeah. because we will give it a wash and then we'll crack open that rear end over there and, and we'll, we'll show you we'll guys show you guys what's, what's, in what's there, going dude. on but the front end over here looks super awesome and some may say this does resemble other cars like this a sports car has been it basically put together a bunch of supercars into one right here like this may look like a ford gt, GT. in the front and a saline s7 in the back and just this whole entire car put together and it has a roof scoop over there and it just makes its own unique car right here dude, dude. this right here is honestly one of the best like um i guess custom bang kit for your car. best bang for your buck that's best what it bang is right for your here, buck. Dude. if they're saying that it can be some of those supercars for this supercar they're not only saying that they actually proven. put it to the test and they proved that yeah by uh, i think uh the uh, car some, channel motor some Trend car ma magazine some car magazine proved that but dude this is the accident right here and this is probably why this car was totaled out but as you can tell there's that frame section right there super easy possibly to fix all that looks like you can easily pull that out by yourself suspension broke broke off luckily we'll just replace that suspension that's probably like off a c7 corvette or something like that got a little bit of aluminum sheeting here got some fiberglass broken here and there fiberglass is probably 
probably the easiest thing we can repair you know yeah, we've mean? already practiced on the boat of course so we already got a little bit of experience with some fiberglass yeah. and this is actually like the tub so we'll have to actually fix all that but as far as this hood goes i think we'll order a whole entire hood which yeah. that's possible yeah right? you can buy them we already contacted factory five and we were we made sure we can buy these parts before we actually bought the car but uh we went ahead and said that we want a hood so they're going to go ahead and put an order on that so we're going to order a hood for sure a uh, suspension we could probably find that off of ebay but this the other side perfect, is practically dude. perfect so all around the car is pretty much really good we'll be mainly focused on the front end the doors are still intact i mean you got these little fuel caps right here two which two fuel caps which do you have to fill up each fuel tank on this thing i or have what, no dude? idea we'll have to just find out about all that but this car just has so many like different features that you don't normally see which i think yeah. this is just awesome right this here, is some super unique something that we probably n never thought we would do like an actual car that's not produced like this and car is not like a production mass, mass car produced, that yeah is. you gotta is, build it yourself you gotta it buy is. it yourself to have one of these built not bought right yeah here. dude but i think what we're gonna do right now is go ahead and probably give it a quick wash before we do anything else that way do we could yeah do a complete quick wash on this thing maybe even see if we can get power to this thing so we can roll up these windows and then we'll wash it up wash the engine bay and see what's going on in there this thing man all cleaned up look at the paint job on this thing yeah. look at that what is that like british racing green or something almost that's there? probably what that is right there i mean at first i wasn't sure about the green color but after washing it that is a really nice paint job dude yep. and also we noticed a bunch of other cool things about this paint job so it like kind of has like a two-tone deal going on right yeah, there almost like where the shaded areas are it's a little bit of the darker color and i believe it's the same color as as these wheels over here same goes for over here look at that it has that two-tone look it almost which, looks like a shade shadows to yeah, be honest which with you. actually gives that effect of this vent like it makes it pop a lot more which that's super cool i'll definitely if we do repaint this car a different color what do you think about it you know what if we keep this color though because this a uh, pretty nice color so dude. there's some crazy things we can go with on this thing we can do like bright red with black racing stripes or we can keep it the same color and just like maybe brighten up the stripes because they kind of like a yellow white. But That's a, it's kind of like a cream white right yeah. there, which doesn't look bad. They might have used, whoever painted this car, might have used this color scheme off of another car and just threw it on this car. I don't know. There's probably some people out there that probably know where this color scheme came out of. But this is not bad, dude. It's a flawless paint. It's all smooth. They definitely buffed this sucker out along with the stripes and stuff like that. It looks super. Somebody spent a lot of money yes. on this paint job. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, definitely. It was not a cheap paint job. Job, you can definitely tell that it was done right and we even brought in the other piece right there it was on the back of uh, the truck over there because it was just completely loose and pops actually lost it on the road yeah it kind of flew off because somebody duct taped it but you know what that kind of gives you a, a glimpse of what it's going to look like in the front over there but for the most part i mean that, that's, that's the car we were going to go on the inside there's just a bunch of parts in there like from this car that they shoved in there but for the most part i mean th th those look like corvette mirrors right yeah. here dude so those are custom doors right there and i guarantee those are probably off of the corvette i mean it makes sense to make the kit to kind of simplify the kit and just yeah, have the mirrors off of something the, else the glass too i don't know i think this is actually a custom glass that factory five makes i believe all their glass is factory five glass so we're gonna have to order one of these i don't know how that's gonna go but we need one of those yep, you got that right and also that's a real hood scoop right there or roof scoop right there yeah. that's functioning goes into the engine bay over there yeah, we thought it was fake but you know what we looked into it and it actually blows like on top of the engine right there and we cleaned this engine bay up should we just go ahead and pop this sucker right here oh, dude for sure dude look, look at look this at beauty that. man that is super clean not one little like oil spot or anything like that dude. dude and that looks like a brand new engine which actually the kit comes with the brand new engine yeah i don't know about the transmission though i, I believe you can option this out when you're buying 
a kit, you can either add the engine or not add the engine. I believe this engine was added and this is a LS. This is an aluminum block. You can tell that they have a custom plate for this transmission right here because I believe this is, came out of a Porsche 911 six speed manual, dude. So we technically technically got a Porsche on our hands right With the LS, dude, our that's crazy. Porsche. And the awesome thing about this entire car, it's a manual, dude. It's a that's six right. speed manual. That's kind of what you want in a raw car like this. You want to feel that power. I bet it sounds amazing because look at that. You got basically straight pipe all the way to the back and this exhaust is what, like four foot long and that's it, man. This thing has to shoot some flames or something, oh, dude. Oh my goodness, but imagine this on top of all this. Maybe I'm speaking a little bit too soon. Imagine twin turbos. Dude, that'd Easy be platform crazy. To I mean, it looks pretty simple. It looks like there's a bunch of room over here. So who knows? We may talk to a few companies to see or if there's any companies out there that want to do something like this. Dude, that'd be crazy, dude, dude. But I wonder what this thing like has done to the engine. Like maybe like some cams in it or something because it looks like it has an upgraded fuel rail, which if you upgrade fuel rails, maybe you got a cam in it. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe these are built um, right away and they just sell them like that. So it's all going to depend on when we start this sucker up. We did put some power to oh, close the windows, but we tried to crank it over. just not enough power. So maybe if we put a battery in here, maybe some fuel, this thing will dude, fire right we're up. We're going to save that all probably for the next one though. For sure. But that's going to be a wrap for today's video, guys. We're super happy to bring you guys a double whammy. This brand new car build right here that's going to be absolutely insane. And also the dang sauce right here. And we're definitely going to leave the link down below. If you want to copy one of these and just upgrade your taste buds and just have an epic food experience, definitely click on that link down below and help support your boys. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.